Hey guys, today I've got my first ever product review. As many of you know, there are hundreds of detailers out there on YouTube reviewing products, doing just pure details, ASMR, lots of different kinds of detailers out there. What you might not know is many of us are friends. We hang out in chat groups together. We email each other back and forth to get ideas. And one of the groups I'm in happens to be a bunch of guys from England. There's two Americans in it, me and Andrew Details, Ernest down there, uh, got into this chat group. Great bunch of guys. They, I know I kind of got immersed in that UK culture a little bit. I even watched the whole series of Peaky Blinders, uh, if any of you have seen that um, on Netflix. I, I watched the whole thing and uh, real interesting. Listen to that accent. I could listen to that British accent all day long, except for if any of you guys have watched it, uh, I like Tom Hardy as an actor, but I have no idea what he said for half that series. Um, if any of you know what kind of accent he was using, because it sure didn't sound British to me, let me know in the comments below because uh, uh, he did a great performance in it, but I couldn't understand half the things he was saying in it. Uh, Jason from the JNLT channel got me involved. I reached out to him and we got in touch. And he happened to do a review on this wheel cleaner, this Auto Glim wheel cleaner, uh, a few weeks ago. And he said, you really need to try it out. It's a great product. Now, unfortunately, it's produced in the UK. So international shipping can kind of be a pain. It's very expensive. But when he mentioned it to me, it just so happens that Amazon had free international shipping at that time. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to try it out, see what these cheeky Brits are up to. You know, these guys are great guys. These detailers over there, as, or valeters, I guess, uh, getting your car valeted. Uh, over there, as they say. Now, one thing I noticed about this product when I first got it, um, I ordered the biggest jug they had, which was a 2.5 liter. Now, as an American, I'm used to the standard measuring system. And so I thought 2.5 liters, I'm, I'm thinking gallons all the time in my head. Well, when I got the box, I'm like, that's kind of small. And then I opened it up and this was the package. And um, 2.5 liters is not a lot of product. And so that was a concern I had right away because this was $52, I believe I paid for it with no shipping. Um, that was just the price with tax uh, that was added. And I thought, well, maybe it's a concentrate. Maybe I can dilute it down and get a lot more use. Uh, but it says right on the instructions, do not dilute, uh, unfortunately. So it is a, an expensive product. Uh, so I hope it works spectacularly well for what I paid for it. Um, I did notice it is an iron-based cleaner. It's non-acidic. Uh, when I poured it into, I put it into this uh, Zep spray bottle here. The smell hits you right away. And I notice it's more of a gel. It's very thick. So I hope this bottle, uh, this sprayer can handle uh, putting this product out. Um, but I'm going to give it a try today. I'll give you my honest opinion, what I think about it. Obviously, I ordered it myself. This wasn't sent to me. Autoglim's not sending it uh, across the pond over here at those costs for an American detailer with just, you know, with 1,500, 1,600 subscribers to give this thing a review. But I wanted to try it out. It does say on the packaging, it says that it will turn a deep red is, is what it's claiming as it removes brake dust. And that's why I'm working on the front wheels because these use about 80% uh, of your stopping power. So it's usually more brake dust. These wheels on my wife's RAV4 haven't been cleaned in a long time. So we're going to get a good look here at what this product is able to do. I'll give you my honest opinion of it afterwards. So let's get into it here by spraying some on this. It does say spray on a dry wheel, which I've never done before. So I'm going to spray it on here, cover up this entire thing, let it sit. Then we'll take a look at it. We'll time lapse it. We'll take a look at what happens here after a couple of minutes. One thing I noticed right away as I was spraying on it, like I said, it's a thicker gel. This spray bottle had no problem uh, dispensing the product. I can already see some of the purple. You can already see it reacting with that brake dust. So it looks like it's a instant reacting product compared to what I've used before. Um, so I'm going to let this sit here for two to four minutes. You might see me mist it with a little water if I think it's drying out because it is fairly warm and dry today. So I just don't want this product to dry on the wheel.
All right, it's been about three minutes, four minutes here, and you can just see the purple running down this wheel. It looks like it's reacted incredibly well to it. I did reapply a little bit of it just to make sure that it didn't dry. It looked like it was starting to dry out just a little bit on top. But being as this is a gel, it doesn't dry out as much as some of my um, other iron removers. I use Adam's iron remover quite a bit. And so this product is a nice change of pace that I can spray it on and not freak out, worry about, oh my gosh, it's going to dry. It's going to dry. I got to take care of it right away and, and keep checking it. But what I'm going to do now is I've got my wash bucket here. See how well it removes all that brake dust. Well, I tell you what, I, I think these Brits are onto something over there. Now, I haven't, I'll be honest, I have not used a ton of wheel cleaners. I've been more of an interior detailer myself, but this stuff really, 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 really seems to have cleaned up this wheel. I'm going to rinse this product off here in a minute once I finish brushing it down. Because now that I've introduced some water, now it seems to be drying out a little bit more. So I'm going to fire up the pressure washer, get it rinsed. All right, I am extremely impressed with this product. I don't know if you can hear that. These things are squeaky clean. And I didn't use a ton of it. With that gel, you don't have to spray it like the Adams where I had to just completely coat these things. And I'll be able to spray it on all the tires at the same time, go around, uh, do some other work while it dwells, hit each tire individually, rinse them off, and man, they will be completely clean. So all in all, I would definitely recommend this product, but with a caveat, only if you're able to get it with free international shipping. Those of you over in the UK, definitely would recommend using this auto glim um, i don't know much about the company other than uh, what my friend jason has told me about and he's worked with them a little bit on some of their different products and he said they've got a great line of products coming out uh, unfortunately being in the u.s unless i can get these um, with that free shipping they're really not worth it for me compared to what i can use and so again great product by auto glim if you're over in the uk check it out if you're in America in the States, if you can get it with free shipping, I would definitely take a look at it. If you have any questions, I'll leave this link down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go on down, smash the like button. That, that helps us detailers. Like I said, there's hundreds of us out there. The hitting the likes, comments, uh, even subscribing really helps YouTube. That algorithm is, is just a, a, a fickle beast. It, it's really hard to figure out exactly what the algorithm wants. Uh, but if you can do those things, it helps us tremendously. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, keep it clean.